Hey, good morning, everybody. It's February 16th, 2022, and this is the aftermath for the snowfall that we just had in Big Bear. The aftermath video. And I didn't get to sleep till so late. I think I looked at the clock, and last it was like 6.45. Oh, I was dreading getting up. But yeah, so at my house, we only got about two inches of snow, maybe. So that foot that they started to talk about yesterday, which I thought would be more likely because the closer we got to the storm and during the storm is when they said that we were gonna get that much more snow. Once again, you guys, failure. But it's okay, at least we got a little bit of snow, but a lot of you have asked me already uh, if I think the snow is gonna be around for this weekend <coughs> and I don't. These big piles you see on the left side of the road here, that's just from the snow plows and the right side. There's like nothing on the roofs. Just amazing. It felt so, it felt like there was more last night. So we're not gonna go all the way around the lake this time, but we're, we are gonna go to the other side of uh, Big Bear Lake over by, by the dam and then we're gonna turn around and come back just so you guys can kind of get the feel of what it's like driving into town and see the roads on that side. Because believe it or not, it does make a difference in some parts because of the angle of the sun and some parts of the road getting a lot more direct sunlight. So sometimes you can be on heading one direction and there will be <clears throat> a lot more snow on the road than heading the other direction but it looks like right now obviously because we're we're in a big open area right here that all the snow on the road's gone the only thing you guys got to be concerned about is even though it's just a little tiny bit of snow just a baby snowfall um, you got to be concerned about when you come up here all this snow melts during the daytime and then whatever doesn't evaporate will refreeze at night and then all of this road will be a bit icy and slick so <clears throat> even when you come up here this weekend you guys even though it'll have been three or four days since we had any snow just please be cognizant of this because as I said a lot of the snow melts back into the road during the daytime and then at night it refreezes favorite restaurants ever in Big Bear, the Crepe Cafe. You guys, you guys gotta go there. It is freaking awesome. I love that place. So good. French crepes. I think they're all French. I'm not sure. But I think the name is French. It feels like it's so early for me because I didn't get much sleep, but it's, it's 11 o'clock. I wanted to do this aftermath video before the temperatures got above freezing, but it's 36 degrees right now. Just so we could, you know, show the maximum snow that we got in town. I wanted to do it before we got above freezing and when the sun was still at a low angle, so it wasn't gonna really affect the snow. Yeah, this is a bummer, guys. I'm not trying to complain and be a little baby, but I am up here for snow not for like dude i heard some of you guys down the hill got more more than we got i mean come on maybe i need to move back to like the hills of orange county like rancho santa margarita in those areas who knows i know one thing i could do is move up to mammoth and do this channel for a season up there that would be epic my gosh, I would never get a break though. I, I, I don't think I'd be able to have a regular job like I have now because it would be so much YouTube videos because of all the weather. My obsession would be just going crazy. Then when we come back into town, Oh, wow, there's a lot of traffic. 
depending on how far these cars go back here, we might just drive all the way around. There's a sledding place, you guys. This is the ski area called uh, Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. It's it's like a sledding area, not skiing, but for sledding, and then they have like a roller coaster and Bob sledding there. It's pretty cool. But I don't have any room to complain about the beauty that just a little bit of white turns this town into something pretty. And obviously the further we go this way, like usual, you guys will see more and more snow. When we get to the Big Bear Dam, it'll be a lot, it'll be like double what it is here. All right, sorry about that. Had to answer a call real quick. So I slam on my brakes and pull over. But there was no one behind me. Obviously, I would never drive like that. But I know it, it seems kind of bad sometimes. So yeah, most of this snow will be melted, I'm sure, by tomorrow. But as I said, the further you go this way, which it's kind of unfortunate, there's less and less resorts the further you go out this way. Just a bunch of Airbnbs and big, big, beautiful houses, which is great. But for the ordinary person who just wants to take a nice vacation and not have to spend like 500 bucks a night, you got to go further over back towards where we just came from. There are a couple resorts up here, but it's not really... Oh, look. There's, there's ice right there. That's cool. There are a couple resorts up here. But you guys know me by now, like... I, I like the really super, super nice ones. And it's not like a pompous type of a attitude about it. I just really enjoy that stuff. And guys, we have our, our friend Dawn. She's going to be seeing a doctor today and then having surgery soon. And she's a friend on this channel. So I really hope you guys think about her, think some good thoughts for her, and let's just hope that everything goes okay with her. I hate hearing that about you guys, man. I don't want anything to happen to any of you guys. So we are entering the Boulder Bay area. If you get, if you want to go to the neighborhood, you turn right there and go into the, the neighborhood. That's Blue Jay Street. I just noticed a restaurant that I've never even heard of right next to that liquor store. It's such a tiny little spot that I've always just driven right by it. It's called Pierre's, I think. But yeah, I'm going to update my description in in uh, all, all the videos because I have some like automatic upload where um, it, it, it puts in the same thing for every single description of the videos and I want to let you guys know because I've had some suggestions that I should let people know what are like the good restaurants and stuff like that so I will be updating that for you guys to let you guys know what my opinion is because remember my opinion is subjective and look the further we go this way the, the, the more snow it looks like they got over here and you can always tell by the side of the road too from where the snow plows <clears throat> have pushed the snow to the side I think we're just going to go around. I thought it was going to be more icy and not as maneuverable. And I thought wrong. I was hoping so. I was hoping it, it, it was going to be difficult travels. Because <laughs> that's an indication of a good storm. Difficult for me. But I know if it's difficult for me, it's going to be really difficult for a lot of people. Just remember you guys, don't be in a hurry coming up here. Bring your tire chains no matter what because some of the side streets, um, once again, it comes down to getting direct sunlight. 
some of the side streets just don't see a lot of direct sunlight during the day. And it takes the snow and ice a lot longer to melt. And with all the cars going constantly back and forth over that snow, packing it down, it turns it into a thick sheet of ice. I'll be doing the drawing and responding to the people who won through their comments about being interested. Seriously, when this town has snow everywhere, the lake is just, it just magnifies its beauty. It really does. It's kind of weird. When I moved up here, I learned that this is a man-made lake up here. <clears throat> and that really disappointed me because I was hoping that it was just natural beauty like that up here. But no, this is all, this is a dam created, a dam created a lake here. So unbelievably gorgeous though. I mean, who would think this is in Southern California? That's the cool thing about it. Who would, who would ever imagine from other states that sunny Southern California has a snowy lake? And yeah, guys, we are gonna go around, I decided. parts of town that gets the most snow over here but obviously it gets a lot it's wide open right here so so the Sun has some uh, penetrating strength over here you can see way over there snow valley way up on the top there I don't know if you can see it but this should be beautiful this should be a beautiful part of the drive right here for about three miles or so just driving along right along the lake it should be really pretty Temperature is up to 37 now. Wow, that is just unbelievably beautiful, you guys. I mean, really? Jordan Groves when we when I was 16 years old at rehab in Utah I got sent to Utah for a year and he was actually from from Redlands and I never knew that that Redlands had some magnificent properties but my gosh their property out there like took it, it takes you like an hour just to walk around it the house was huge 
humongous, and this was one of their many vacation homes. We, we come up here and party often. It was just so much fun. So much fun. How you doing, Jordan? Hope you're having a good day, man. Yeah, my gosh, this is so pretty. I think San Gorgonio averages close to what Mammoth gets. But then again, San Gorgonio is like, let's see, 4,000 feet higher than we are at the very top. houses like on a permanent basis I don't think I would ever leave just because there's nothing that peaceful outside of that house <laughs> all right here's another one of the beautiful views right past this uh, bed and breakfast place I, well, this, I think they rent that greenhouse out or blue house whatever it is look at that that's amazing there's some ice on the lake this is the first year that I haven't really seen much ice out here. Keep in mind guys, all of this was the lake also, but it's not a lake anymore. It will be full eventually if the lake replenishment project go, uh, goes through. Apparently of a $55 million project or something like that, they have about $10 million towards it already. And their goal was to have the lake full by the end of 2024 and have it full on a permanent basis. Watch the, the eagle and big bear. We just passed the eagle on the left hand side. And now we're entering fawn skin. Remember guys, 25 miles an hour is the speed limit over here. You do not want to go any faster. Obviously because of safety, but also because I don't want you guys to get any tickets. It's really easy to give people tickets out here. Because 25 feels like you're just crawling. So my friend Jordan, who I was just talking about, I came up to Big Bear and spent time here with him for my first time ever. I'd come up skiing before, but I never hung out in town. We'd come up to go skiing and then leave. Um, he took me to a breakfast restaurant right here called North Shore Cafe, right here. And it was wonderful. It was so good, you guys. It was really good. It says it's closed right now. That's a bummer. Oh, we got some cars behind us. Wow, San Gorgonio looks insane right now. Look at how white that looks up there, that huge mountain beyond our, our little cliffs here. These are cliffs compared to, to that mountain. That's the tallest mountain peak in Southern California. 
I think 11,555 feet. I think that's right. to come around the lake you guys because I want you guys to actually see it I, I just didn't want to inundate you guys but then I was thinking about you know what we don't get to do too many aftermath videos at all so this is pretty cool I'd like to stay there sometime it looks like uh, not an Airbnb type place but a, a, kind of like a motel but it's it's all houses I need to learn more about this stuff up here. I never expected this channel to get to where it is because it's not been a goal. You guys haven't heard me ask you to subscribe or hit the like button or anything like that. So I'm just very amazed that the channel keeps on growing because I don't ask you guys for that. But I'll tell you what, I'm super thankful because it just shows me that what I'm doing does help some people and that's really cool. It gets me so tickled up, but it really does. Temperature is 40 degrees now, guys. I love that house right there. And you know what? It looks like it's an Airbnb. I'm going to have to eventually get that phone number and give them a call and see see what's up with that place because it's been a while since i've sp spent any money on a nice place you know and i love doing that for you guys on my other youtube channel luxury hotel and resort travel that's what i was doing i was staying at five star hotels and flying on first class airfare and staying in like the uh the like delta crown room and the uh, american airlines version of that and stuff like that because it costs like 60 bucks to go in to those while you're waiting for your flight and if I was still a drinker it would be much more worth it because it's an open bar but I haven't had a drink in almost nine years that I went to in Utah for that year. It was in a t uh, county called Wayne County, and we live right next to Capitol Reef National Park. And uh, the Native Americans had changed the map many, many years ago to trick the people trying to uh, infiltrate them. So we, there, there were two mountains in our area, one called Thousand Lakes and one called Boulder Mountain. And on the map, they switched the name of those to confuse them. And so Boulder Mountain actually has tons of lakes and Thousand Lakes doesn't have really any lakes on it. Kind of cool. It's amazing how that stuff's done and no one even thinks twice about it. So we're getting close. 
close to getting back. Another nice lake view and Snow Summit. Look at Snow Summit right there. And Bear Mountain to the left. Woohoo! that I love the best here you guys are when we get a lot of snow because all the trees you can't see any green when we get the massive snowstorms it's just white everything is just white you can't see these street signs because the wind blew the snow and just plastered the snow right onto them you just can't see anything it's amazing it's really amazing when all these trees are just white there's no green anywhere and I haven't seen a snowstorm like that in a couple years Okay, we're on Stanfield Cutoff, guys. Here's a nice lake view. And then over to this side, that is the Baldwin area, way out there. You can't see Baldwin from here. Uh, I always forget what this little marsh area is called, but there is a name for it. Uh, look at this timing for the light. Yeah, boy. Hope you guys enjoyed the ride, looking at beautiful Big Bear Lake and a beautiful town with clear, clear skies, not a cloud anywhere to be seen. Forty-three degrees, and boom, snow summit. sleep last night and yeah once again I'm sorry that it wasn't nearly as much snow as they ended up predicting like it's it's just really it's really upsetting when you get closer to the storm and then even during the storm they start to change all the numbers big time and then it doesn't happen it's it's you would think that the closer that it gets to us that the easier they easier time they would have to to be able to determine it but but the mountains are not easy to predict because the mountains do a lot of stuff to the storms Anyway, you guys, take care. Good to see you guys today, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Hopefully next week's storm pans out, but it's not looking good, unfortunately. Peace out, guys.